We should do the problem. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's example two. Hey, balanced equation. Mm. We're being nice to we you. We are. We're getting we're, soft. We're not going to be soft on the next example, but we will this time. Hey, determine the limiting reactant and the amount of aluminum iodide produced in the reaction when 1.2 grams of aluminum. And da, da, da. All right, you can read. This. Hey, look, there's two masses of two different substances. Hey, Does that mean it's a limiting reactant I problem? Think so, so I have 1.2 grams of Al. So I'm yeah. going to have 1.2 grams here. I have 2.4 grams of iodine. How many grams of aluminum are left over? Mm. Oh, this it also says determining the li determine the limiting reagent and the amount of Al I3 produced. I'll say so. Let's write G question mark. Mm -hmm. So we have a, so a third got, problem. Yeah, we've got some extra work to do. All here. right. So let's do the first part first. Okay. okay. All right. So all right, I'm going to try and write small here because this is going to take a lot of space. 1.2 grams of Al over 1. So again, I'm going to convert grams of Al to grams of Ali3, and then grams of I2 to grams of Ali3 lowest one wins. OK. All right, so uh, this will be grams of Al to 1 mole of Al. Looking at the periodic table, it's like yep, 27. 27. Yes. Is it 27.0? It is 26.9 something. 27.0 is close. 27 seven. works for me. OK. And then I'm going to say, what am I going to say? Uh, I'm going to go say from moles, moles of aluminum. Moles of Al to moles, to moles of Ali3. That's a 2 to 2 ratio. Yes. And then I'm going to go from moles of Ali3. That's a 1 to grams of Ali3. Now, the molar mass of that would be what? 408. Bet you didn't know that one off the top of your head this that time, That one, you? Mr. Sams, I did not know. Yeah. So now, when you do the math, Mr. Sams, 1.2 divided by 27 times 2 divided by 2 times 408 is what? 18.1. 18.1 grams, grams of aluminum of iodide. iodide. No naked numbers, no partially clad numbers. We want full Victorian. Put, you want to close on. Full Victorian Woo! garb on those numbers. There you go. All right, next Head one. to toe, 2. neck to ankle. 4 grams of iodine. Iodine, that's the British oxide. Iodine. Well, it's chlorine, fluorine, bromine, and iodine. And iodine. It makes sense. iodine. Yeah, okay. Iodine. Ever. Are we eating? Uh, uh, grams of I2. I wish it was. One eating. mole. Look at yeah. that Pop Tart over there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. Better not get up again or else it'll disappear. <laughs> uh, how many grams of iodine are uh, there? It'd be 127 times 2, 254. so 254. I need that actually in my head. Man, how did you know that? I'm so smart. Okay. Amazing. So the grams of iodine cancel, or iodine, and then I'm going to say moles of iodine, and that's a da, 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 three. Yes. Two moles of Ali3. Okay. And now I'm going to go, oh, this is the same fraction. Hey, that 408. it's already there, 408. 408 I'm grams of Ali3 divided by 1 mole. I know we're going fast, guys. We're very good at this. You might need to pause the video. OK. OK. Now, conceptually, Plug and chug. what'd you get, Mr. Sams? I think this is going to be our very uh, small 2.57. Oh, 2.57 grams of Ali3. So 2.57 is a smaller number than 18.1. It is. So therefore, the winner. That is the amount of product we will produce. So, so the limiting reagent or reactant is the 2.54 or 2.4 grams of I2, the iodine. So the iodine is your limiting reactant or mm -hmm. your LR, and your excess reactant is the aluminum. Aluminum. Okay. All right. Now there's we one still have extra one step. more problem. Hmm. How many grams of aluminum are left over? So we had 1.2 grams of aluminum. We used some of them up. It's like right. we used up some of the wheels right. in the bike. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we need to figure out how much we used up and how much is then left over. So what we're going to do is we have to do, yes, one, one more, more stoichiometric thing. We're going to convert grams of aluminum or of iodine to grams of aluminum. Yeah. And we will get a number less than 1.2. Yes. Then what we will do is we will subtract 1.2 minus that value. Yep. Let's okay. See. So we're going to start with 2.4 grams of I2. I'm going to new screen here. 2.4 grams of I2 over 1. And then there are 254 grams of I2 in 1 mole of I2. Then we're going to say moles of I2 to moles of Al. 2 moles of Al, 3 moles I2. This was a 2 from the balance equation, and this is a 3. Hmm. And then we're going to say 27 grams of Al to one mole of Al. Just a gram gram problem. We've done a bunch of these. What do you get, yeah. Mr. Well, I get 0.17. So 0.17 grams of Al. Now, what does that mean? That's how many grams of aluminum it would take to react with the 2.4 grams of iodine. So how many grams of iodine? We started with 1.7. 
1.2. No, 1.2. You're right. So we started. Zero, actually. That's we important. started with 1.20 grams of Al, but we only used up. That's what we started with. We used up the 0.17 of that. So what right. we'll do is we'll subtract 0 0.17 grams of Al, and that, of course, is 1.03 grams of Al. So That's that, how much is left over. Did not react. So most of the aluminum still remains. We used up only a scant amount. All right. Go back to the bicycle analogy. I had extra wheels. Oh, so the question is kind of like, how many wheels are left over? Yeah. Got the picture? Mm-hmm. Okay.